Hello friends, welcome to an universe double two. In this video, we will try to solve a numerical that is based on U2 manometer. So firstly, I start the statement of U2 manometer numerical that is a U2 manometer is used to measure the pressure of oil of specific gravity 0.85 flowing in a pipe. So from the statement, it is clear that uh, the oil is that is flowing in the pipe and the specific gravity of oil that is 0.85 and this is the fluid in the pipe as we know the fluid which is flowing in the pipe that is the light liquid so this is the specific gravity of light liquid so I can write here the solution firstly write down the given variables specific gravity of oil so that is light for light that is s1 that is equal to 0.85 and uh, next uh, its left end is connected to the pipe and right limb is open to the atmosphere uh, this is the talking about u2 manometer its left end of the u2 manometer is connected to the pipe and right limb that is open to the atmosphere so here this is the pipe in which liquid that is oil is flowing and specific gravity of this oil that is 0.85 that is given and uh, the left hand of uh, tube is inserted in the pipe and right limb that is open to the atmosphere this is open to atmosphere so this is x axis the datum line and now the center of the pipe is 100 mm below the level of mercury the center of the pipe so here this is the center of the pipe this point uh, that is this point that is center of the pipe that is 100 mm below the level of mercury so the level of mercury so we can say the fluid that is in u tube manometer this is the mercury or heavy fluid and the specific gravity for mercury that is 13.6 that is s2 so according to statement we can say 100 mm center of pipe from level of mercury the level of mercury is this point so from this point to this point the distance is given that is 100 mm and the specific gravity of mercury that is 13.6 so I write here specific gravity of mercury that is heavy liquid H2 13.6 and uh, if the difference of mercury level in two limb is 160 mm determine the absolute pressure of the oil in the pipe so i repeat the line difference of mercury level in the two limb is 160 so it means this is the first level of mercury and this is the second level of mercury and the distance between these two level that is given this is equal to 160 mm so we can say h2 is given that is 160 mm so from here if we have this distance and this distance we can easily find out the value of h1 by subtracting 160 minus 100 we can easily find out the value of h1 so here the height of the oil in the left limb or we can say that is above datum line xx so here this is h1 so that is equal to h1 minus equal to 160 minus 100 that is equal to 60 mm or 0 0.06 meter so this is total distance is given 160 this distance is given 100 the pending distance h1 that is equal to 0.06 meter and here 
this is given difference of mercury level difference of mercury level that is h2 equal to 160 mm and we need to find out the absolute pressure of oil absolute pressure of oil and from the diagram as we get we can say this is the example of the positive pressure because this is h2 level is here because in negative pressure this value that is equal to zero so this is the positive pressure so positive pressure that is as we know uh, we need to find out the gauge pressure so let h1 this is gauge pressure in the pipe in terms of head of water and p this is the gauge pressure in terms of kilo newton per meter square so now equating the pressure heads above the datum line that is x x then we get so as we proved the derivation here we get in case of positive pressure h equal to h2 s2 minus h1 s1 or that is h plus h1 s1 equal to h2 s2 so by using this equation h plus h1 s1 equal to h2 s2 and we need to find the value of h1 so h1 plus h1 is given that is equal to we calculated 0 0.06 meter so that is 0 0.06 into s1 that is also given 0.85 that is 0.85 equal to h2 this is given 160 mm so it becomes 0 0.16 meter into s2 that is 13.6 this is the value of s2 13.6 so now h equal to 0.16 into 13.6 minus 0 0.06 into 0.85 and that is equal to 2.125 meter so this is the value of h so when we get the value of h we can easily find out the pressure the pressure p is given by the equation for pressure that is p equal to rho g h rho that is specific weight into h and the value of specific weight that is 9.81 kilo newton per meter cube in si unit so substitute the value of w here so then we get 9.81 into h that is 2.125 2.125 so that is equal to 20.84 kilopascal and now absolute pressure of oil in the 
ट्यू सो दिस एब्सोल्यूट दैट इज द पॉजिटिव प्रेशर तो इन केस ऑफ पॉजिटिव प्रेशर पी एब्सोल्यूट दैट इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ पी एटमोस्फेरिक प्लस पी गेज प्रेशर एंड पी एटमोस्फेरिक दैट इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एज वी नो एंड पी गेज दिस इज पी गेज दैट इज ट्वेंटी पॉइंट एट फोर सो फाइनली पी एब्सोल्यूट दैट इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी पॉइंट एट फोर किलो पास्कल सो दिस इज द फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट पी एब्सोल्यूट सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एन यूनिवर्स डबल टू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैवी नाइस डे